Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky 1, 4, and welcome back to more of the World of Magic, and here we are in the final test. So, for this test, it's going to be a little bit different, so here we go. I'm going to unequip, unequip the Cloak of Will, uh, because, uh, you know, that gives you deadly. Unequip the pet, because that gives me deadly, and I don't want those, those things to mess with me. And then we are going to um, remove the stuff that gives us dexterity. Snake leather boots, snake leather gloves, and ring of soul. We need the bow. Um, oh, and the sparkly necklace. Take it out. So basically, we'll just have our snowflower spam hat and spider silk one armor as their only offensive capabilities, excluding the bow, of course. And those things will give us six critical total. Manicor's bill, I just leave it in there because it's, who cares? It doesn't give me any offense capabilities. Okay, so there we go. The reason why... I'm doing this is because now I have a total of 6 critical, like 6 critical stat, with 22 dexterity. This test will allow us to compare 6 critical versus 6 dexterity. And in the end of this video, we are actually going to do a final comparison of, of, the, of the two things to actually see our critical. You know, our critical rate and stuff like that, because it's going to be pretty helpful to know all the numbers and stuff like that, because, well, yeah, it just makes sense to. So. This test, uh, this is video 113, and yes, I know you guys are sick of this, and I have good news. This is the last test video. I mentioned in the past video that this was going to be the last video, the critical thing. So yeah, and this is actually not a recycled one, by the way. It's not a recycled video, it's a new one, because this time I'm doing critical, which means I had to actually redo the, you know, the entire testing and do another 500 hits or so. Yeah. This time I'm actually doing 100 attacks, just straight out 100 attacks, and... I mean, like, you know, 100 attacks, but that that 100 is part of the normal attacks and the um, critical attacks. So, yeah, that's why. So, 100 attacks, and we will see out of those 100 how many of those are actually criticals. And again, we will be seeing the test after every 100 attacks. We will, of course, see the, the test, the results. So, yeah. Anything else I have to say? Probably not, but um, I'll just tell you in the next part, we're going to move on to a new area that we haven't been to. We've been to the Eastern Sky Castle, but we haven't been to the Western Sky Castle, so try and guess where we're going to go next part. That's right, we have to do an enemy analysis for that play, so next time we're going to, yeah, go to Western Sky Castle. Um, Alright, so we're about to approach our first test, or like test results I should say. And um, yeah, so let's, let's take a look. Here we go. Okay, so here it is. You hear a lot of machine in the background, yes, I'm pretty sure you do. Alright, so... 16 out of the 100 attacks were critical, which means 84 of them were normal attacks. Yeah, we're not, we're not counting misses or blocks into any of this because we're just doing critical, okay? So, unlike the last time with, you know, hit rate. But yeah, there we go, 16 out of 100. So, that's our first one. Which means right now there's a 16% chance that we get a critical by having 6 critical equipped. Whereas with dexterity, it was, I believe, 13 point something, but that was with, a, with an outlier. Um, without the outlier, if you don't want to include it, it actually goes significantly down, believe it or not, the percentage. And again, we will, we will be doing that in the end of this video, doing a final comparison. The machine is getting louder out there. Um, if you are thinking, um, if we, okay. If, if you have this, you know, if you're thinking that if I'm recording these at the same time as the previous two, because let me tell you, in the previous two there was a machine. No, I'm actually not, but unlucky for me, there's a machine again. Again, this is, this is actually one day, I'm recording this commentary one day after I recorded the last two commentaries of the, of the previous two videos. And yeah, you know, um, yeah, and this is pretty funny, he just starts pointing at me, I'm like, okay, and that's, um, alright, cool. I have actually talked to her, but no, I can't double shot because I'm doing a test, sorry, but I cannot double shot. If, I mean... If I did double shot, I'll just tell you that every one of my double shots would be 80% stronger than a normal attack, because that's what double shot does. Yes, it does. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, this is test number two. We'll, we will be seeing the test number two results fairly soon. And yeah, these things actually go by faster because we're only doing 100 attacks. Whereas before in the other ones, we had to do more. Well, I mean, not really 100 attacks because we do have misses and blocks, but, I, but what I'm saying is, before... I was doing 100 or 99, I should say, normal attacks, and then from there, I had more criticals, which I wasn't counting. Overall, it led to like 110 to 115 total, which makes every test a few seconds longer, you know, sometimes to speed, so it makes it a few seconds longer 
compared to these where I'm only doing 100 attacks. It doesn't matter if they're criticals normal, just 100 total. This time I get 15 out of 100. So you can start to see the, you know, approximately the percentage of you getting a critical with um, 22 decks, 6 critical. Yeah. Alrighty. So we will now be moving on to test number 3. Here we go. Alright, test number 3. So again, 6 critical, 22 dexterity, and let's go ahead and take the, take the, take care of this, yes. Alright. So, um, as I mentioned, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, there were actually, you know, recommendations here and there. For example, one of the ones, one of the recommendations I was told, or, or you know, that I should do is, of course, testing the damage of a critical to see if dexterity is, uh, is, um, you know, increasing the damage of that. Man, because a few people said that, that that's what they think that dexterity does. Man, it's just we keep getting more and more specific to try and find out the truth about dexterity. It's crazy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all these tests. For now, I'm not going to be doing the tests. I'll just throw that right now. I need some time off because, man, the last thing I want to do is do freaking 10 videos in a row of tests. Okay, and I know you guys don't want to see that either. I'm pretty sure you guys are bored of this by now. We started with these uploads on Monday. And this video will be the second video uploaded on Saturday, I believe, if this is correct. I think. I think it will. This is crazy. It's too much. And if I did more, that would be that would be literally a whole week. And actually more than that, because I do two uploads of the World of Magic on weekends, if you haven't noticed. Yeah, if you haven't noticed that, I mean, yeah, I do World of Magic weekends. I announced that, like, weeks ago, maybe like a month ago or something, that I'm going to be doing that. And yeah, Saturdays and Sundays, you can expect um, two... World of Magic video uploads per day instead of doing one and then one of another game. As of now, it's Bloons TD, Bloon TD4. Before that, it was Harvest Moon and Wonderful Life, and yeah, you know. Overall, games that the majority of you guys are not interested in because you guys are probably just interested in World of Magic, but I do have some people who actually like watching those other games, and I just like playing a lot of games in general, not just the World of Magic. I mean, it's a good game, but... That's not the only thing I like, you know, I'm a overall just general Let's Player who decided to pick the World of Magic as one of my Let's Plays. The, mo the one I worked on the most, of course, but yeah. So, 13 out of 100. Yeah. So that, that one went a bit down, but overall it's not an outlier or anything, it just went down by 2 compared to... And yeah, an outlier can be a significant, significantly lower, not just higher. I believe we've only had outliers that are higher by a lot, but not by lower, yeah. So here is test number four, as you can see. Again, counting all the criticals, counting the number of criticals. Now right here, something funny is actually gonna happen, something pretty damn funny. Um, and I'm not gonna spoil it, I'll just let you watch, because it was funny. Okay. Um, it should happen within the next, like, I don't know, five seconds or so, or five to ten seconds. Okay. Here you see a red name. Like, oh, I'll, I'll just kill this person. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, okay, I had to cut right there. Unfortunately, um, it, you know, it of course interrupted the test, but it didn't ruin it because I, of course, keep it in, tr you know, keep it in my mind, like, keep it on track. Every time I attack, I'm like, one, two, three. By that point, I think, I believe I was at 26, if I'm correct, the count. So I got killed after 26, and I was like, all right, whatever, and then I'm going to continue, so... The attack right after the cut is attack number 27. Unfortunately, I can't control whether, you know, people doing that or not during this test, so... It was bound to happen, and I was actually surprised that I wasn't killed. You know, like... Like, in between, like, during a test... Until now? That was crazy. Like, it never happened in the other... The, the other test, you know, so... Yeah... And, um, I... Okay, I, I, should, I should talk about this, but anybody from the Big Mama server... And I think it's only Big Mama from what I've heard and just seen. Um, anybody from the Big Mama server will, will be like, Why the hell did you, did you just do that? Like, seriously. And it's so true because I haven't really talked about this. Only in comments when people have replied. Um, especially one certain person who always talks about, you know, being in Big Mama and these colored names and stuff. But, um, well, I mean, several people have, but especially one person. But anyways, um, one thing I have to say is that if you are from Big Mama... Most likely, you do not player kill that much when you see other color names, except, of course, if, you, if the other guild is, like, hostile or something, then, of course, you have some war or something. But in general, you don't just kill random people. 
That's not like that. That's not the case in these servers. Wadonka's not like that. I know Turtle Z and De Devil Service for sure are not like that. I've been in those. Man, those two servers are freaking crazy with the player killing. Just bowling like shit. People want to quit servers because of the way that people lag. Wadonka is pretty much up there too. It's pretty bad in terms of that. Caligo, I'm not really sure on that. I'm not really sure on that server too much. Um... But Big Mom is very different. I know that for a fact because when I've been there to the whole trolling thing, it's very different. The beach, oh my god, the beach and Big Mama, it is full. And I didn't even talk about the previous testing, like seriously, but whatever. Big Mama is. There are color names everywhere on the beach. Like seriously, you go there down there to the, you know, the, the mercenaries and night spawn about down there, you know, where the village is. And man. There are black and red names everywhere, and when I'm there, I'm like, seriously, I stand next to color names and they don't kill me. And I'm like, really? Or I see other high-level white names from the other faction, and they don't kill them. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, it just goes to show you that, you know, every server really picks up, like, their own rules and morals, I guess, whatever. But in Wadonka, no. What you just saw right there, that's very normal. If a red name or a black name sees you on the beach, 90% of the time they will go after you and kill you. That's how this game is and everywhere. In the lighthouse, same thing. Very rarely does somebody not kill you. Now there are exceptions if a very high level pro, like you know 35 plus, is a red or a black name and they're on the beach, they most likely will not kill like you know the noobs and stuff you know, like that, but the other way around, yeah. High level white names, if they kill noobs that are you know black or red, They'll be killed, and, I, and really, from what I see from this server, that's not a problem. It doesn't matter if you're like level 30 and you are attacking black or red names who are like level 10. Because the way that people see it in here is that a black or red name is not innocent. They recently player killed, so they can die by any anyone. But enough about that, uh, yeah. All I'm saying is that, yeah, player killing is crazy here. If you're a color name, you're in danger. And if you're a color name, most likely you will kill white names regardless of their level. So, here it is. 13. The overall is 14% as you see on screen, uh, like the overall average. So yeah, 15, 15, 13, 13, 13, and the overall average was 14% exactly, exactly 14%. Now let's go ahead and do a final comparison because I do want to do that. So final comparison comparing three different things. Here we go. 22 dexterity zero critical has a 9.5% chance, 9.51% chance of getting a critical. 28 dexterity zero critical overall had a 13.23. And 22 to 36 critical. Basically, the last two, uh, the last two rows or columns, I should say, last two columns, is comparing six dexterity versus six critical, 14%. Now keep in mind that there were outliers in the two dexterity ones, so overall they lowered by a good amount, especially the second one. If you take out the outlier of when I got 22 criticals in that random one, it goes down to about 11.85%. So if you want to take a look at the average of those two, 12. Point something percent. Overall, 6 critical gives you more, and that's of course expected because of course it's the critical stat. People already knew that. But there you go, there's your final comparison thing of the three. So, goodbye everybody and until next time.